I would like now to invite another of our colleague, uh, Ms. Ilaria Reggiani, to uh, give us a short presentation. Ilaria is a project manager with the International Projects Office, and she has uh, uh, had the idea which brought to writing a proposal, which was then actually funded by the Commission and is starting now for a new project, which she is going to explain to us. Ilaria. Yes. Um, uh, of course, uh, we have also the pleasure to have our partners of the project, so um, most of the information you already know. But um, this is a presentation of, uh, in general, of the project and uh, um, in particular the learning path. So my idea of experimentation, what will going to, uh, uh, to happen during competition and uh, in a broad overview of the learning pathway. So um, I'm going to provide you a few information. I'm glad also to have our professor Marcello Dei, who is quite interested in the research of this project. So I hope that you like the project and you'll be with us uh, during all project life because the target of the project is what you're interested in. Um, as concerned Genius, Genius is a two-year uh, European project funded by the European Commission, in particular the lifelong learning program, so program Comenius. It has started in October 2011 and is going to be finished uh, in September 2014. Uh, the partnership is, uh, uh, I can say, there's a wonderful synergy between uh, networks, uh, academic uh, institutions, and, uh, and uh, secondary schools. Uh, so, uh, what we are going to do during the project, and the, of course the country come from Italy, Greece, Spain, Portugal, Romania, Turkey, and United Kingdom. And we have representatives here. Um, in detail, uh, the, the partnership, uh, which as I say is a, a, a synergy, an excellent synergy, which will be um, the best uh, partnership to develop, design and develop all project activities. Um, what about the background? So uh, where the idea come from and uh, uh, which are the needs uh, from which the uh, proposal come from? Uh, so, with the, um, in recent year, young digital natives, in particular young students in secondary schools, um, witness uh, the lack of a critical approach uh, towards uh, the uh, web content and web resources. What they do is uh, consider the content and web pages uh, published on the internet uh, as first uh, um, through and uh, it depends on the rank maybe in Google or uh, the content in Wikipedia. Uh, for them, popularity is synonymous of reliability. So they don't make any kind of uh, cross-check or a deep analyze of analysis of the, uh, the content to check the source, uh, the qualification of the author, and uh, uh, of course, uh, if this uh, information is uh, true, and how deep is this information? Uh, what happens after they look at the, uh, the content? Uh, they use uh, to uh, just copy and paste, uh, so just transfer the content uh, to their own reports uh, to, you know, exploit what uh, they found to uh, to their uh, daily uh, homework. Uh, what uh, unfortunately uh, doesn't happen that they go into process information that obtain they obtain, and they don't uh, re-elaborate. They are not reasonable about the content. They don't think. They don't reflect. But just think that the, the content is true. The content maybe is more valid and the the, the best content they can find. So maybe <coughs> we. For example, we were speaking with our uh, colleague from uh, uh, Portugal that uh, what I think is very interesting that uh, um, what I think that is true is that the student 
has not so much self-esteem to think that uh, its own content uh, could be better than what they can find in the internet. So he thinks that uh, uh, the uh, content of the other is uh, better than own. Uh, what about teachers? Uh, uh, teachers often don't have the competencies and they're not aware of uh, um, plagiarism phenomenon uh, and not the instrument to recognize uh, uh, the plagiarism in, uh, in the classroom. Uh, maybe they don't use so much uh, uh, internet, so they don't uh, check or see if the content is original from the students or maybe is the, they come from other resources. Um, what about the, the goals? And what about so the main outcomes of the project? Uh, we are going to design and develop and after experiment to put in practice a learning path for teachers of secondary schools and a learning path for students. Uh, learning path will consist of uh, in a distance course and uh, uh, later on uh, a phase of competition among students. Uh, besides the learning path, uh, will be developed a MyMeet collection. So the partnership first and after the students. We're going to collect uh, uh, a collection of biographies of all the people that uh, they consider um, famous, popular and uh, important. So what we would like to, to become. Uh, and will be, of course, uh, people that don't have just to copy and paste uh, uh, their innovation, but they have worked hard behind uh, what they have created and they have put in practice uh, uh, often the results uh, of their passion, their talent. Uh, in this project, uh, uh, what uh, uh, we would like to uh, to define is the student as the protagonist of the project. We are going to involve the target group, so students and teachers, since the beginning of the project. Since the phase of the research, we are going to have contributes in order to develop the material as, um, as far as possible near, close to their needs. And they want, during all project lights, we want to have feedbacks and review and comments, integration, or enrichment as possible for, uh, uh, to achieve the best uh, quality for the products. Um, of course, our um, main outcome, outcome will be the increase of awareness of teachers and students about plagiarism and about uh, the importance of creativity and empowerment of the student. So what about the target group? As I said, it will be uh, mainly teachers and students of secondary school. Uh, and moreover, all the institutions, uh, uh, professionals, uh, agencies that could be public and private that could be interested uh, either in the content or in methodology of the project. Uh, we are going, of course, to contact them beside the target group since the beginning of the project. And that's also the reason, because uh, we'd like to uh, begin with this event, this workshop, uh, at the beginning of the project, which is not uh, foreseen in, in the application. I would like just to start to disseminate uh, the aims of the project, to publish on the website and disseminate the registration, uh, the video of this, uh, um, uh, of this workshop. workshop. Uh, what about, uh, we are going to have uh, um, a deep analysis of the learning path. So what will be our main aim will be, uh, we after the research, of course, uh, will be, uh, which will, will, give us, will, will give us a foreground for the didactic material. What we are going to develop is a, a, an online course for teachers, uh, focused mainly on didactic methodologies to increase uh, uh, students' transversal skills and creativity, for example, uh, student-centered or self-regulation, uh, uh, or other, we are going to discover during the research, um, the distance course about uh, plagiarism issues, uh, the copyright uh, consequence 
of uh, a behavior uh, not uh, fair and uh, uh, for teachers uh, uh, information about uh, a fair web use so what which are the um, kind of an etiquette you say an internet uh, when you say that you're able to use uh, uh, the content uh, and uh, uh, information in respect of the author, in respect of copyrights, even the case uh, of uh, uh, open source uh, object or Creative Commons uh, uh, principles. Um, beside that, we're going to develop, design and develop uh, an online course for students. Um, some topics will be the same, so we'll, uh, we'll have again uh, plagiarism issues, uh, consequences, copyright, uh, citing also, because sometimes students are not in secondary school, maybe they used to update their knowledge uh, in uh, higher education uh, for, uh, for thesis, but uh, uh, even in this educational um, uh, phase uh, could be relevant for them uh, to know copyright and citing uh, and the role of the author and uh, uh, also knowledge about principle about creative writing. Um, of course, uh, the two different courses will be tailored on the target group. Uh, so if some topic could be, will be the same, but uh, will be uh, tailored according to the needs uh, and uh, uh, of course, the target group of students will be, uh, we are going to exploit uh, more um, the, uh, our platform and uh, the potential, the functionality of the uh, wiki areas, for example. Um, as, soon as, the, as soon as the distance course both will be finished, uh, the competition uh, will start. So students um, from different partner countries who are going to be mixed together to make two transnational teams and they are going to um, start a competition with the support of didactic tutors. Uh, there will be teachers uh, of infor uh, information and communication technologies, uh, language arts and Eng English language, uh, of course not for uh, the English partner. And on the other side, uh, partnership, uh, we're going to um, elect uh, a judge board who will draw up um, a kind of um, a reference for the competition. So rules uh, and uh, timing, uh, so a deadline, uh, uh, and uh, the criteria to receive the award, so the winner declaration. Uh, the first phase of competition, so what, were, what uh, these two teams uh, uh, will do first uh, is to draw up two documents. Each team will draw up two documents, in English of course. Uh, one document uh, will come from their own creativity. So they will search information on the internet, they will process information, uh, they will build up something new. On the other side, the other document will be uh, will come from uh, you know information or maybe images or ideas. So maybe the content is not the same, but the idea come from another author. So it will be a false, a fake. Um, what will happen as soon as the two team uh, developed this? to uh, documents, they are going to exchange documents and one team has to detect the plagiarism of the other team. So after what we are going to, to see that, uh, uh, for example, one document, uh, uh, they will report that uh, um, the idea is not original, it comes from uh, um, uh, a website, for example, is not uh, um, uh, not legal to, to copy, so it is a plagiarism. Um, so they are going to make a report of the documents. They are going to, uh, of course, according to uh, features that uh, we are going to, to define, 
so for images, uh, for uh, resources, for example, they don't have uh, cite uh, the author, the resources of the document, uh, and so on. Something missing, you know, just copy. And you're going to make an assessment report. Each team will make an assessment report. Of course, reflecting or guessing which is the document uh, uh, false. Uh, the judge board is going to assess the, both reports and going to declare the winner team. What, uh, what will happen? So, and the winner is uh, maybe students who have learned how much talent and potential he has or students who have learned how much profitable is to create and claiming is um, the ownership or students who has found out how much easy it is to copy without being catched. So in September 2013, we are going to get the answer. We hope <laughs> in the first two options, but okay. So we hope uh, to have uh, uh, the guests here together in our path to enrich our uh, the content and the quality of our uh, results. So thank you so much.